Hello and welcome. I am the Arm Chef here. I, in my previous videos, have been using the Armored Chef. I'm very sorry for that. I, that's not my name, as you can see on my YouTube channel. So, today we're going to be making a pizza with handmade dough. So, let's get started with that. First, you're going to need some yeast, which, you just a full packet of it. And you just add it right in there. And then you're going to need one full cup of water, warm water, to activate the yeast. And reminded that that I am using, I'm doubling it. Hang on, stir the yeast first. Oh yeah, stir the yeast. Activate you gotta it. Yeast. You gotta dissolve it. And I am cooking for the same family as I was in my previous video, so I am doubling it. So. If you need to just go back to the video and just get the recipe or the measurements and cut them in half. Now I need the sugar. Should I mix that in? Okay. Mm -hmm. Mix all this in. And then add the. Do you want me to pour that in here or pour this in there? Add the flour to the liquid. Okay, so then you just add six cups of flour, three for that. That's the regular recipe. Mm -hmm. This is just this isn't doubling. Oh, this isn't doubling. Okay. You wanna mix it in there? Yep, mix it in, and then uh, you'll mix until it forms like a ball, like a, it'll be a dough ball. Yeah. Uh, so I wanna make a mess. It's starting to get thick. You think it needs more liquid in it? Nope. No? And after we get done doing this, we're going to roll it out. We'll spread it out on a pizza pan. We got it for that. Just get the cheese out. And then, do we need tomato paste? Tomato sauce? Yeah. Yeah. Um, Typically, just use uh, like a plain spaghetti Small ball. sauce. Mm -hmm. Small ball. And just good. Make sure you mix it in. You can go switch to your hands to make sure that you get all of the flour moistened. All of it. Yep. That way, it's all worked in. It's pretty doughy. Yeah, it's. Would you mind spread it out? I gotta go wash my hands. You may as well just keep it going. Oh, yeah, you got sure. Just hand right in there. So, next, you've got your grease pan. Yeah. And you're gonna go ahead and just start pressing it out. If your fingers start getting a little too sticky, what you can do is take some flour, just press from the middle and push out. There you go. You got that. Just all the way to the edges. I've never made a pizza before. Need it to the outside. Twelve people were feeding tonight. Yeah, twelve. So it's got to be a fairly big pizza. But I, I like cooking for big crowds. It's because I like to get the feedback from them and see how I'm doing. Starting. Got to start somewhere. All right, and your oven will be set at 375. Yeah, that's really 
gotta, you gotta top it. So oh, yeah. 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 And then I bake till my crust is just a little golden on the edges and the cheese is melted and it's good to go. Just take it out, cut it, and mm -hmm. eat it. Well, you gotta let it cool, of course, but. It's hard work. How's it look? It's on there. Looks like a pizza. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Okay, you want to. Uh, yeah, I can go ahead and take a sauce. Alright, so. Um, I just, again, use a store-bought sauce. Um, I typically just use like a plain marinara or traditional sauce. And just spoon come out on there. Spread it around, not quite to the edge. You want to leave a little crust. as little or as much sauce as you prefer. Just kind of do that to taste. And then next we will add the cheese. Pretty sure I'm just going to leave this one just cheese tonight for the kids. They like the cheese pizza. So um, this one we are almost completed with. Already. You want to add the cheese? cheese? Sure. And then we're going to pop it in the oven and get back with them. Okay. You need a knife. Loosen it up. Okay, so we're just going to add the cheese here and we'll get right back with you when it's popped in the oven and it's out. So that that's about what we're gonna do. So we'll get back with you then and there you go. Hello and welcome. I'm the arm chef and we just got done getting our pizza out and we're going to just go ahead and cut it, but I'll show you what it looks like. It's a little bit brown around the sides, but that's the way it's always good. And that's about it. So we're just going to cut it up, let it cool off, and eat it. And we just made a pepperoni one. So that we didn't put that on camera because it would take too much time. But that's about all the time we have for today. So I will let you go and I will see you later.